simplest and easiest way to make a quick dinner, especially when it's Easter, around the corner, fish with tarragon and potatoes from Armenian cuisine. How we make it? Very quick and easy instructions. Salt. I already cleaned and washed my fish. I'm gonna simply salt this with a good amount of salt, just like so and black pepper as well fish loves salt and black pepper you can also add some cayenne or any other spice you prefer on all sides just like this you also need some young potatoes or any kind of potatoes but keep in mind that fish usually cooks very fast don't choose extremely large potatoes and of course tarragon and fish is a perfect match I'm using good amount and I'm kind of smashing the tarragon so it releases the taste even better. A good amount of tarragon. That's it. This is ready for my pot, just like so. And then I'll add my potatoes, which are, I already washed as well. Mm -hmm. And also I'll add a couple of cloves of garlic which is optional, but I like adding garlic to my fish in general. And I'm not gonna even peel the garlic. I'll simply slice it like this and add it right there. Mm -hmm. And to this, I'll drizzle, I'll add a drizzle of olive oil, which isn't, again, important that much as I, I mean you can add it you cannot add it especially if the fish has is very fat <laughs> has too much fat you don't have to add any additional fat that's that what else cold water you will add this is important you are going to add as much water as you need to slightly cover the fish and they say as soon as you see the eye is out, the fish eye is out, it means it's cooked. And I'm also adding a little bit of salt. Later you can always taste one potato and see if it needs more salt. Just like this. And why not, I'll add a little bit more of this black pepper. And that's it. I'm going to cook this until the eye is out and the potatoes are cooked. That's it. I'll be back when it's cooked. I'll give this a quick stir. Cook it covered. This is ready. And I normally serve this when it's cold, slightly cooled down at least. And that way it's easier to remove the whole fish in from, the, uh, from the pot or you can simply cut the fish into pieces. I didn't cut it too because I wanted to have very mm, photogenic look. So I'm gonna try to remove my fish and look, the eye is out as they say. <laughs> my favorite part is the head of the fish. Okay, so I remove, you wanna remove those cooked uh, tarragon leaves from the cavity and I have some fresh ones, I'll put fresh ones instead. Now, wish me luck to remove this fish in whole. Without, oh, it's still a little bit hot. Oof, almost, huh? Not to torture yourself, it's better that you uh, cut the fish into pieces. I'm gonna cover these imperfections with potatoes so no one can see and then I'll use some of this fresh tarragon. I'll use the tips because the tips are easier to eat and they are more tender. So I'll add this, probably a couple of slices of tomato, lemon, just to garnish and make it look nice. And that's it, it's done. No one needs a recipe for something simple as this. But I'll put down quick instructions on my blog at heavyneda check it out I'll put this in this part uh, let me know how you liked it and all those things I'll slice a couple of tomatoes I love fish with tomatoes and that's it how simple was this fish with tarragon Armenian cuisine or any cuisine I would assume will have something with fish and tarragon 
and a couple of tarragon leaves on my tomatoes that's it okay guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you soon I'm not gonna touch the fish for now we'll take pictures and then I'll start enjoying my almost cooled down fish that's it you know if you let this marinate in salt and black pepper and then cook it you're gonna end up with even better tasting fish but it's still so so delicious I'm almost halfway done with the tail part my favorite one of my favorite parts mm, so delicious